Hey, 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 what's happening, everybody? What's good? What's going on? How y'all feeling today? I hope y'all feeling good and lovely and all that. It's a beautiful Wednesday here in the DMV. Y'all know I got something special for you. If y'all seeing me, y'all know what it is. It's Midweek Medicine Day for you, baby. And I got something good for you. I got a little dose of something. Something I've been experiencing and going through. So I'm Miguel Brown, your experienced specialist, that mindset motivator for you. Something here that comes to give you something to change your mind and change your life, all right? So let's dive into it real quick. Um, I'm gonna call this, uh, 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 frame it up, get the better picture, okay? Not the bigger picture, the better picture, all right? So um, back a couple of years ago, my mother was doing service. My mom was a pastor, I'm a PK kid and all that, right? Um, for a while, one person was, was videotaping moms, right? And they would just set the camera up, put it on the uh, tripod and just let it go there, right? So moms would be walking around, She'd be in and out of the shot, you know, um, there, there wouldn't be no zoom ins, no tights, nothing, none of that, right? I actually wish I had a cameraman for this video because it'd be perfect, but it don't even matter. Y'all gonna get my picture. So anyway, um, you know, so then I took over and I'm like, you know, when you watch the TV, you want to see different angles, you want to see different video, you know, views, different shots, you know, uh, when you're looking at pictures, if you're looking at, if you look at one picture, you don't mind seeing 20 different shots of that picture because that photographer will get 20 different angles and it'll give you a different perspective for that picture every time you see it differently, right? So I'm videotaping for mom, so what I would do, I follow around the room. I pan around the room. You know, when she was getting to a deep part in what she was doing, I would zoom in on her, right? Get real close on her face so you can really see the passion and the expression and you really feel what she was saying, right? Then I zoom back out and I pan around uh, uh, the congregation, let it, let everybody see it. You can see everybody shaking their head. Hallelujah, yes, that's beautiful. Thank you, praise of God and everything. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, preach, preach. You know, doing all, all that, right? And then I go back to mom's and I get her walking again. And, you know, some more zoom ins and then I zoom out and get a wider picture because then you get that, you get the tight frame, right? And you could get the passion of it. You see moms is in it. You know, it's real personable. You feel like you're there if you're just watching this thing. And then you get to zoom out, boy, and you get to see how the, the crowd is responding, how moms is flowing in the room and everything like that, right? So that's why we got all these different angles and shots. And moms be like, son, I love that you do that. I hate when you got to work on Sundays and you can't do my videos because, you know, they do a good, but they don't do it like you. They don't follow me. They don't get me tight and zoom me in and all that other stuff, right? I'm like, well, you mind, you know, I try to do what I can, make it, make it look good for the people, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, so what I started learning, and not only what I started learning then, but what I have also been learning this week is that sometimes, listen to what I'm saying, sometimes it's not about the picture in the frame. It's about the frame outside of the picture. What? It's about the frame outside of the picture. The frame is more important than you think it is, and I don't mean... I'm not talking about this desire frame that you got around your wedding picture. The, the nice picture that says best friends for life. Or that picture that says uh, the world's best kids. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about here. Here, right? I'm talking about perspective. I'm talking about your focus. I'm talking about what you're paying attention to uh, that isn't even necessary, right? So the beautiful thing about a tight shot, right, when you zoom in, is that let's say, uh, uh, um, you you you, you want to get like a general photo right you got some people in there and they talking and everything right then you zoom it but it's some individuals that you don't want in that shot so then you can zoom in right to where you want it right 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 on where you want it and get that picture right and that so the individual still there but they not in the shot understand what i'm saying they still there but they not in the shot because in this shot they don't matter in this far this frame this focus they don't matter it's only about either that individual or you know what it is that the photographer or the videographer wanted to see at that given time right perspective um the wider shot of course is meant to get more things here like your backgrounds the more people in there how people are engaging and things like that um that's not as personal but you still get a, a better point of reference of everything that's going on um, what's happening around the individual it gives you uh, a different perspective and a know-how on what it is that the person that's talking or what you're watching what they're talking about or what the scene is about you know what I'm saying y'all follow y'all follow me right so um, giving my mother those different angles 
it allowed her to portray certain emotions and certain uh, 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 certain passages and certain things on another level, and it, and it helped people and it took them deeper, right? Listen, listen. This week, well, not up this week. I'm, I'm gonna end up giving y'all a little bit of my next video, and. I won't let this video out until it's done right. Till me and my boy Joseph get together, we make this thing. I need y'all to listen to me. So, um, a couple of weeks ago, I've been feeling some things. I've been focusing on the wrong things. I was thinking about the wrong things. I was seeing a broader picture, and and, I, and it was messing me up. You know, I was feeling depressed and and, and feeling like a failure. Hold on to that. Um, you know, just things just wasn't right you know home is crazy you know what i'm saying more recently let's say the ac stopped working in the crib so it's hot in there so it, it, you I, I lost my focus of of what i'm doing and what i'm working for and you know me and the wife we snapping at each other more and more because we hot right you know what i'm saying it, it's just things ain't going the way that we would think that we would want them to go to make things life a little bit more easier right so this week you know, uh, oh, y'all don't know this, but we doing the bankruptcy thing, right? Because we trying to start off fresh, get it clear, you know, clear up the past so that we can keep on going with our future. And, you know, me and wife are still in the stressful state, things like that. But then yesterday, we ran into a friend of ours, and that individual is going through the bankruptcy too. And their history looks similar to ours, and it helped wifey put things into perspective. And it helped her think a little bit clear and feel a little bit better because she got to understand that it's not just us somebody else that we actually know is experiencing this thing too so it helped her zoom in and it helped her get a clear understanding of what we need to do and what we need to focus on see we ready to move right and we've been looking in the wrong our picture was too broad we looking at the wrong things we were looking at the wrong areas we were looking at the wrong cost we were looking at uh the wrong type of labor that we need to put in and the sacrifices that we made we need to make but then just in this week alone with talking to friends and family, we was able. We started zooming the picture in, right? Getting a different angle, getting a different perspective on what it is that we need to do. A different shot. See, I wish I had a cameraman so they could he could get me here, he get me here, he get me there, so y'all can see. You get different angles, you get different shots, and we were able to take the unnecessary things out of the photo and put it back in this perspective of the focus that we needed it on. Our reference point. Stop looking in these areas and come down to these areas. When we when, when we changed our parameters in which our pitch, how big our picture was, and we brought it down, it made it even more easier, and we got an even better result that we know going to be a blessing for us. You know what I mean? Um, uh, uh, it helped us in choosing our daughter's school even more easier. Like we were going to go to this school and say we had this address and do this thing, but what all we need to do was we bring the we we bring that shot down, we bring the frame in, focus it right here. And now we see a different area to live in, more cost effective, and easier for our daughter to go to school without having to use other people's addresses and all the things like that. What am I saying to everybody? I'm saying you gotta get a different perspective on what's going on in your life, okay? You focus it on the wrong things. Frame it up. Get that thing in the frame. Look, take, a, take a look, look at different angles and say, you know what, I don't need this in here. I don't need that in here. Let me let me let me tighten this shot up. Let me get it in just a little bit more closer. And now, what I want and what I need to work for and what I need to do is all in perspective. It's in a new view. I got a new focus. Cause see, the thing is, once you bring that frame in, then you start cutting out the depression. You start cutting out the stress. You start cutting out the arguing, the bickering, the fighting. You start cutting out the 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 unnecessary negative things that's happening to you and around you. But you gotta start, you gotta frame it up first. You gotta get that perspective right. You gotta bring your focus in. You gotta get back to living, loving, and laughing. But in order to do that, you gotta get the right shot. And once you get the right shot, then you have a better understanding of what it is you need to do to go where you're going, or to eliminate what you need to eliminate, and bring yourself in, and you just be happy, and you're doing things, and it's just wonderful, because I'm blessed right now. That's all I got for y'all today. I wanted y'all to understand this whole perspective thing and the new shot that you need to get in your life because when you get that new shot in your life, you'll be happy like me. I'm feeling good. My wife feeling good. We got a better understanding of what we need to do and what we're going to do and where God taking us and how we're going to be blessed. So I just wanted y'all to get a piece of this, feel it, love it, touch it, feel the energy, get all that. Um, that being said, I love you guys. 
uh, like I told you, I gave y'all a little piece of a big video that I'm about to do um, on failure. And y'all, and that's all I'm going to tell y'all. It's, it's deep. I, your boy had to go experience some things before, so I could so I could give this to y'all because somebody somewhere needed it, right? So I love you guys. Y'all have a great Wednesday. Um, I'll check y'all later. All right? Enjoy.